The first and only step in assembly is mounting the drop lock connector to the parallel guide track. The parallel guide track has four machined holes on one end, which correspond to four threaded holes in the drop lock connector. To attach, turn them both over and slide them together as shown. With the holes lined up, insert and secure the four flat head screws using the included 3mm hex driver. Repeat this process for the other parallel guide. To attach to your guide rail, tilt the parallel guide assembly at a 30 to 45 degree upward angle and carefully insert it into your guide rail's T-track. Slide the stainless button forward and lower the parallel guide assembly until it's flat on your worktop. Repeat for the second parallel guide assembly. you'll notice a small amount of back and forth play. To eliminate this, we'll tighten the two set screws on both sides of the drop lock connector. Continue to tighten the set screw until you notice the back of the parallel guide track lifting up off your work surface. Then, back off the screw a bit until the track once again sits flat. Repeat for the other set screw, and then repeat this process for the other drop lock connector. There should be enough friction that your parallel guides don't move unintentionally, even when the guide rail is held upright. To make it easier to reposition the parallel guides along the length of your guide rail, simply lift up on the back end of the parallel guide before sliding. Depressing the stainless button on the drop lock connector will also make it easier to slide along the guide rail. In this video, we'll cover two methods to calibrate your Flipstop Pros, the splinter guard method which requires a fresh splinter guard, or the workpiece method, which requires a scrap panel. We'll start with the splinter guard method. To calibrate the Flipstop Pros, you'll need a trusted measurement device at least 8 inches in length. Here, we'll use a combination square. Before calibration, ensure you have a fresh splinter guard on your guide rail. Over time, the splinter guard wears down and may no longer represent your true blade curve. To check, first make a test cut. Without moving the guide rail, see if your workpiece edge extends beyond the splinter guard. If it does, it's time to refresh it. Replacement isn't always needed. Existing splinter guards can be removed and repositioned with the careful application of a heat gun or blow dryer to release the adhesive, allowing you to reposition the splinter guard a sixteenth of an inch or one to two millimeters away from the edge. After reattaching the splinter guard, trim it on the track saw, and you're ready to go. With the parallel guides attached to your guide rail, slide them together so they're about 6 inches apart. Loosen the Flipstop Pro knob and slide it onto the parallel guide track. Pressing down on the knob makes it easier to initially install. Slide the Flipstop Pro until the cursor reads 8 inches on the scale, and tighten the knob to secure it in place. Then, repeat for the second Flipstop Pro on the other parallel guide track. Note the plungers should be facing inward. Set your combination square or trusted measurement tool to 8 inches and place it flat against the spooner guard extending over the top of your guide rail. Using the included 3mm hex driver, turn the calibration screws on the Flipstop Pros clockwise to extend or counterclockwise to retract until both plungers meet the blade of the combination square. Calibration is now complete. To calibrate the Flipstop Pros using the workpiece method, first, slide both parallel guide tracks along your guide rail so they're about 6 inches apart. Loosen the Flipstop Pro knob and slide it onto the parallel guide track. Pressing down on the knob makes it easier to initially install. Slide the Flipstop Pro until the cursor reads 8 inches on the scale, and tighten the knob to secure it in place. 
Then repeat for the second Flip Stop Pro on the other parallel guide. Note the plungers should be facing inward. Now place a scrap panel under your guide rail assembly and cut a fresh edge using your track saw. Once cut, ensure the panel does not move under the guide rail. Set your combination square to 8 inches and place it flat against the newly cut edge of your panel with the blade extending over the top of your guide rail. Turn the calibration screws on the Flipstop Pros clockwise to extend or counterclockwise to retract until both plungers meet the blade of a combination square. Calibration is now complete. To use your parallel guide system, first ensure the left reference edge of your workpiece is straight. Make a fresh cut with your track saw if necessary. Then place your guide rail with the parallel guide system installed on top of your workpiece to be cut. Space the parallel guides on opposite ends of your workpiece. Set the flip stop pros to your desired cut dimension. Slide the assembly so that both flip stop plungers are contacting the workpiece. You're now ready to make the cut.